Hi y'all. Uh, in this video I'm going to talk about identifying game animals by the footprints they leave behind. So this is the pond right here. So much it dropped since Tuesday. Today's Saturday. So uh, what's that? You always got to be alert when you see stuff. You always got to be alert when you're out here because anything could be running around out there. Especially, uh, you know, water type snakes. But anyways, it dropped about maybe five inches. So anyways, let's look at the tracks. If you look right here, this looks like a duck. See that? That looks like a duck. And this right here looks like an armadillo. See the footprints? I got squirrels. I mean, I got raccoons here too. But this looks like an armadillo right there. And, uh, you know, it's probably that same one that's been coming around the, uh, the garden, you know, last couple years. There's no reason to uh, get rid of them. I mean, they're not doing anything. I'm just running a, an experiment to see if I can grow enough food, enough calories for a year to survive a year. Uh, very few uh, people are able to do that, but penis is the trick. And uh, I'll show you know what? Let me see if I can show you why. No, no, let me stick with the theme of this video tracks. So, if you had a game camera out here, you would know what time uh, these animals come around, and you'd be able to easily uh, trap them, you know. So even during times of extreme drought, if you had to, you know, you could, you know, you could be able to get some food. And you don't have to do any kind of hunting if, if you know what, I need to do some videos on how to, uh, how to, how to get game without actually having to hunt for it. I've got a couple ideas. You know, a lot of people think you need to go out there, you know, hunting, but I think if you know what to do, you don't have to do that. I think I'm going to make a video on that later on because there ain't much going on here. Pond's getting real low. It's about a 16 foot deep pond water tank. And I think right now it's probably about maybe five or six feet low. So there's about 10 feet left down there. And uh, so, you know, you'd be able to, you know, if you knew how to do the math, you'd be able to figure out the, uh, you know, the burn rate on the water but it's been 12 weeks and you know might go another month with no rain there's one day of forecast in the rain but who knows so i think there's still some fish in there but uh yeah the thing is is uh you know you could look at the tracks and you could tell you know everything needs water so if you if you have a pond and you know and you need meat you need that vitamin b12 that's what you need the meat for, B12. And uh, you need to just sit here and wait and, uh, you know, whatever shows up, well, you have it. But, uh, you know, it's a pretty interesting experiment here. Hopefully uh, next year, the fifth year, I'll be able to make it happen, be able to get that million calories. Now, I got the million calories on the first year, but it was just, uh, you know, it was luck. Everything fell in place. Okay, see y'all later. Look, look for tracks on the ground, you know, those don't look like tracks, those little white footprints right there, but they're, they're the ducks, they're the neighbor's ducks that come around, and uh, those are the, uh, that's that uh, armadillo that comes in there in the garden, all right, see y'all later.